This is the Joy Tutus Mitchell dual vehicle fan. Let's take it out of the box. Okay, in the box, you got a manual here. They give you the fans themselves, of course. You can see there's two of them. They can turn, tilt up and down. They can rotate around. So you can point one that way and another the other way, whatever you'd like to do. Hooks into your cigarette lighter plug in the car. And it has a speed control on it. Just like that. So you can run that up to whatever you'd like. And they give you two mounts for it. They give you this here, which is a big suction cup mount for sticking on your windshield. And they also give you this mount here. And what this is for is for the back seat. So you can raise the headrest and then the two little bars that are there, these can move inwards or outwards depending on, you know, how far apart they are and clamp on as you see like that to the headrest and there's a ball mount this also has a ball mount that fits the socket on the back but right now I'm going to be using this and I'm going to demonstrate the fans right here and then a little bit later we're going to take it out to the car and I'll show you both ways it can be mounted so for the ball mount you just unscrew that place it on the mount that you're going to be placing on and then this ball will fit in there I'm going to need two hands to do that it pops in place and then you screw that back down on there to hold it and that'll also keep the angle for you you have it set at so if you wanted to mount it at that angle you can just go ahead and lock that down just like that and it'll keep it pointing at that angle depending on what you're mounting it to I'm going to mount it up right here just to show you and of course turn them on and like I said later we'll go out to the car okay with this mounted here now it's firmly attached you can pivot these you can turn them have one point out that way and one point up or out over there or however you want to do it you can I'm going to put them back in their kind of normal position if you will like that and I'll turn it on once it's plugged in you'll get a blue light there regardless of whether the power is on or not and we'll kick it on I'm gonna move the camera out to the side so we don't get too much wind noise in the microphone this is at the lowest speed now the speed control is adjustable and as you rotate that you can see that also lights up in blue when it's on maybe you can hear the air that's in there now that's at full speed that's maybe half and that's the slowest speed right there and once again these can be pivoted and adjusted any which way that you want but how much air does this actually move? Let me set up my tripod and I'll show you. This device here is called an anemometer. And if you take a look, it has kind of like a fan looking thing on the top and a readout display down there. When wind hits that, that's going to turn, it'll measure it and show how much air it's actually moving. Now, this anemometer is set to feet per minute right now. If that doesn't mean anything to you, that's fine. All you need to know is a higher number means more air. It's that simple. So I'm going to go ahead and set the tripod back up one more time. And in order to not get wind noise in the camera, I'll call out the readings from the anemometer and show you kind of what it does. So I have the fans on at their very lowest speed right now and the anemometer about a foot or so away is reading about 118 to 137 we'll call it about 120 and on the left fan I'm getting exactly the same reading right there 
So I'm going to ramp this up now. That's maybe like a, not even a medium, like a medium low. And I'm seeing about 275. The fans are almost putting out the identical amount of air. Holding the anemometer at this angle doesn't really give the best reading, but it'll give you an idea. So here's maybe about a medium setting. We're looking about 433. This one is actually a little bit higher at 500 and change. The vibration you hear is it being on this surface. You would not hear that in the car. This is acting as a sounding board. And at this speed we're seeing oh, about 590 I saw up to. And when I raise that more, this is now at the highest speed. And I'm reading Oh, about a good 900. About a good 900. Eight, high eights to 900 feet per minute on this here. I don't know if the camera can make that out. About 866, somewhere in there. This has a hold button. And yeah, that you could see the amount of air, 846.5 feet per minute. That's not all this is actually going to do. Because this red thing here is just a car jump starter pack. It's only 12 volts. When you have this in the car hooked up, you're probably going to be getting even a little bit more airflow out of them because the battery in the car is likely a bit better charged than this is. This is a few years old now. And then when you start the car, the voltage is going to go up higher to about 14 volts, and these are going to move even more air, so probably well over a thousand feet per minute out of each fan. Once again, it can be turned and pivoted. Point that there. You can mount this under your, uh, uh, what do you call it, rear view mirror, and point it out at each passenger in the front seats like that would work great like that of course you can loosen that and set the angle I don't have it tightened all the way down but you can adjust the angle as such like that and put these fans anywhere you need them to go now I'll shut it down and let's talk about what this is really great for this is great for a number of different things, actually. Number one, sometimes you just need some more airflow within your vehicle. Maybe it's an older vehicle, doesn't smell all that pretty anymore, and with the air moving, if you always open the windows or something like that, this can keep some air moving so it's not as bad as it was. Um, it's also great if the blower in your car is kind of weak. That can blow heat or air conditioning around better in the vehicle and remember that it comes with the back seat mount also so the rear passengers can enjoy some more of that air if the kids in the back are complaining that it's too hot back there and it's a really hot day well this can certainly help with that and it'll work great for that um, maybe the blower in your car is broken or maybe it only works on high speed and you hate turning it on because it's so noisy and it's just a pain all around. Well, with something like this, you don't have to put it on. You can just use that. Also great for those nice spring days where it's maybe a little chilly to have the windows open, but you kind of want a little bit of air moving around within the car. It's also great for that. Um, or if you're trying to save fuel, uh, a lot of people today have larger vehicles, larger engines, and then when you put that air conditioning on, your gas mileage absolutely plummets. And as such, if the fan is going to be sufficient for your cooling needs, then you can just use that, and it just plugs right into the cigarette lighter. So now we're going to take this out to the car, 
and I'll mount it up. I'll put it up on the windshield, show you that, and then I'll also mount it on the back seat and show you that. So now in the car, you can see how the suction cup mount goes squarely on the windshield. I chose to put it here. Your vehicle will be different, so you find the best spot for you. So it's not blocking much of the road. Um, it's all up to you however you want to put it and place it. I'm going to go ahead and plug it in now. And now I have it on at the lowest speed. In the car, the enclosed area like this, you can feel the wind even more from it. And if I want to turn this like this, I can have it just like that. So that's pointing at me. And if I had another passenger, well, I can point it at them just like that. And that'll work great. Now, I had mentioned earlier that once you start the car, you'll have even more voltage available. I have the fans running at full speed right now. And I'm going to go ahead and start the engine up. Now, what's going to happen is when I do that, the fans are actually going to stop while the engine cranks over. That's how this car is designed. And then once it starts up, we should get that extra voltage. So if you listen to the sound of them, if you hear that tone, now listen. Definitely a lot faster now, moving even more air than they did before. And to give you an idea what it would look like, you can see how that's mounted up right on the bars of the headrest, like I said, and that can even be pushed down further if I wanted to. And the fans are fully adjustable. I can turn them, face it out toward the window, or point them both to a passenger on the other side. Whatever you need to do, it's all there. So once again, this was the Joy Tutis Mitchell dual car cooling fans. If you'd like to purchase this item, I'll leave a link in the video description where you can find it available for sale on the manufacturer's website. Thank you for watching. Make sure you click like, make sure you click subscribe, and take care. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.